Right now, we're looking east over the Portlands in the future mouth of the Don River. This is the east end of the Paulson Slip, which is where the new river will meet the lake and flow under the Cherry Street South Bridge. We've already started excavating the area where the river will flow under the bridge, which you can see between the bridge foundations here. This is the future Canoe Cove. Excavation will begin this fall. This is the site of the former Marine Terminal 35. You can see where we have exposed the tiebacks of the dock wall in order to reinforce the wall with new ones. Eventually, this will become Promontory Park with a promenade running along the dock wall. This is the future alignment of Cherry Street. We've now completed a utility tunnel under the Keating Channel to connect to new utilities running below the new Cherry Street. This is the sediment and debris management area where we will create structures to control the flow of water and manage sediment and debris flowing down the Don River. The Logan ramps from the Gardner to Lakeshore Boulevard are being removed in order to allow crews to safely widen the Don River. Turning south, you can see the progress on excavating the new path for the Don River. The west half of the Commissioner's Street Bridge arrived in May. The bridge deck won't be installed until the second half of the bridge is in place. Turning west toward the Central River Valley, you can see the outline of the river as excavation is now complete. Running down the center of the River Valley, you can see the river finishes that will form the base of the river, which will have wetlands on either side. We're sustainably harvesting 1,700 trees and building them into the riverbank. They're naturally resilient to fast-flowing water in a storm and provide habitat for wildlife the rest of the time. Fire Hall 30 is a historic building that we relocated to make way for a wider commissioner street. The parks lining the river valley will have pedestrian bridges that connect to trails through the wetlands. You can see the foundations for two of the bridges on the left.